Welcome and uh, let's have a go at Star Trek Online. I'm going to try a mission I haven't tried yet and it's the Measure of Morality Part 1. So here we go. The long range sensor arrays in the trailer system went offline recently. Last thing they picked up before that happened was a Borg scout ship. I'm heading to trailers now to investigate. If this is the beginning of a new Borg incursion, I could use some backup. Meet me there as soon as you can. So I've got to go to the Beta Quadrant and investigate the anomaly. Trailers. What rewards do we get? Experience. A rifle. You must get all of module. Okay, accept. Until next time. We have unfinished business to attend to. Well, let's see if I can remember. Well, looks like things have settled down for now. That's it. In progress. We have unfinished business to attend to. Well, looks like things have settled down. How do I get into it? Try again. No, I don't want that. do that. Get a triple while I'm here. Move the ship. See if I can find it. Um, in progress. Measure of morality. Should make primary. We've got a gold. It. Be the quadrant Trust system. Okay. The system. fast as we can. Let's see if we can get to this one. To help seven and nine. Should be interesting. you 
Thanks for coming. Been a while. You look well. Considering what I hear about your exploits, that's an impressive feat. Back to business. Spotting a Borg scout here made a lot of people nervous, and with good reason. So, some old friends called in a favor, and here I am. I came here looking for Borg, but the real problem turned out to be sabotage. Orion smugglers fouled up the long-range array, but they left the short-range sensors intact. I have plenty of evidence from the sensor logs to turn over to Alliance officials. What about the Borg? Still a concern. If they're sizing up this quadrant as an incursion zone, we need to know about it. I have a few ideas on upgrading the sensor arrays, making them harder to disable and better at spotting Borg. Beam me over and we can sort out the details. Okay. With your assistance, I can complete the modifications quickly. Right then. Let's put a couple of wings of fighters in the air. Increase the speed a little. And we'll put them on a defensive roll. I'll drop a couple of mines just to make sure there's nobody following. Right, here we go. Let's just be prepared. Good. Now that we have a working array, our next step will be initiating the new security protocols. Hold on. Are you seeing this? The long-range sensors just lit up like a Dabo table. Reading a massive energy surge. We're being scanned. Something's overriding all our control systems, attempting to bypass. Shields up. Race for impact. Uh oh. Being dragged through ammo. Not good. Pleasant. Still, there are no damage reports, no casualties. Where Scanning. Are we? Hmm. This is unexpected. According to astrometrics, we were catapulted several hundred light years from Trellis to the Excalvia system. Excalvia beamed. I seem to recall a few space legends about this place. There's some facts to go along with those legends. In the 23rd century, Excalbians abducted the USS Enterprise and subjected some of her crew to a series of combats. Some sort of morality test. Hmm. Don't like the look of this. Possible we're here for the same reasons. Feels that way to me. I doubt they dragged us all the way out here to have a wreck to Gino and talk about baseball. There's one way to find out for sure, hail them and see what they want. Oh, not good. Morality tests. Lots of atmospheric interference. We can establish comms. I can boost the signal once the ship is in a standard orbit. Assuming the Excalbians are in a talking mood, we should have answers soon. Agreed, Helmut. It was in a standard orbit over Excalvia. Okay. Let's get the wings back in the air again. Let's get the speed up a bit. Looks like we're heading into orbit now. Right, 
What we got down there? Oh, that's mine. It's a boost that comes signal. We are receiving your signal. On behalf of the Excalbian people, I bid you welcome. Human on Excalibur, who are you? My name is Abraham Lincoln. Some time ago, I met and fought beside members of a Federation starship crew. Under the circumstances, we felt a somewhat familiar face would make this encounter more agreeable. I see, tell me, Mr. Lincoln, why have you brought us here? That is a complicated matter, I'm afraid. I think it would be easier to discuss it face to face. We prepared a meeting ground on the surface of Excalbia. It meets your needs for atmosphere and climate, as I understand them. Will you join us there? Sure will. We'll hear what you have to say and then prepare for our arrival. Here we go. Just the two of us. Looks good. Quite enjoying this. Just like being in another, another world. Welcome, friends. I do hope the local climate is to your liking. The climate's fine. It's our abduction that we have a problem with, friend. My apologies. It was not an action of my choosing, I can assure you. is required for a matter of great importance. Greater than conversations with dead presidents? Long ago, the two of us were involved in a study, if you will. An evaluation of two concepts, good and evil. The initial results were ultimately inconclusive. The debate has continued since that time. We now seek a final resolution. What does that have to do with us, exactly? You have been chosen as advocates for the concept of good. But you will not face it alone. Hello. Looks like we have a lot of work to do here. That's putting it mildly. Right then. this trial, you will be accompanied by associates that we have created for you. You will confront a variety of situations in opposition to evil forces. Your actions will be judged, as will those of your opponents. The prevailing concept will guide us as a people. We shall pursue the virtues of good, or the vices of evil. Why have you chosen violence as a means to evaluate the concepts? We find violent conflicts produce pure examples of good and evil. They provide the best results to evaluate and judge. Mm. Failure to participate will be seen as your endorsement of the supremacy of evil. The trial will then conclude with a judgment in favor of evil and our subsequent pursuit of the concept as a guiding principle. Fight or... Fight or evil wins by default. That's not much of a choice. The trial awaits you. Proceed anyway. through the portal behind me when you are prepared. Let's get it over with. I think we need to be cautious when dealing with the Excalbians. They're a lot like Q, minus a sense of humor. Fashion sense could use a little work, too. Mm. 
team. But now I say we play their game and stay in one piece. Look for opportunities to swing things in our favor. Our new teammate here might have some insight into the situation as well. Good point. I think I have commander. Michael Burnham of the USS Discovery. We know of the Discovery and the Empire and honorable vessel and crew. Judging by your uniforms, I'd say I'm in the future. The last thing I remember was preparing for battle with my crew and the crew of the Enterprise. Since we're having this discussion, I'm guessing we won that fight. My apologies, my memory's a bit fuzzy. Possibly a side effect of whatever brought me here. Indeed, welcome to 2411, Commander. Over 150 years. Fascinating. Right. I'll catch up later. Assuming we get through this trial in one piece. To address your original question, I wish I had all the answers. But I know as much as you do. Going through this trial will give us the chance to conduct some tests of our own. Learn more about them and the situation here. Agreed. Let's not keep the omnipotent beings weirding them. Take heart, my friends. Yarnick has a forceful personality. But his voice is not the only one heard here. There are many ex calbians who would embrace virtues before vices. It's good to have allies. Well said. And as one of your allies here, I have a warning for you. The trials are drawn from your past experiences and records, but they will not be identical recreations. There will be alterations to test your responses and those of your opponents. Expect the unexpected. Thank you for the information. Here we go. Then. Please accompany me. Oh, well, it's lovely scenery. Let's get going. Shall we? Beyond that portal, the first trial awaits. Good luck, my friends. My tricorder showing a Class M tropical biome. By the look of things, this world is under attack. I'm reading a lot of weapons fired from several locations in the area. This is Bree 3. I've been here before during the battle, in fact. This is a safe place. Safest place? Let's go for it then. didn't happen long ago. Some of the bodies are still warm. When did this take place, originally? I don't recognize the uniforms on these Vulcans. The Romulans. Romulans? <sighs> You're serious. Those are Romulans. This is a lot to take in. <sighs> Shoot the Vulcans and left off the time of the Vulcan. The Romulans are. I clearly have a lot of catching up to do. But the middle of a war zone isn't an ideal place for a history lesson. Mm -hmm. Agreed. These Romulans of Tal Shiar, members of a covert military intelligence force. Their list of enemies isn't long. Any number of them could be responsible for this attack. In this case, it's Riemann Partisans. Or it was. Alright, let's see what we've got then. This one was killed by heavy plasma weaponry. Strange. 
I'm also reading trace amounts of several exotic particles in the area. Anti-proton, tachyon... Whoever else was in this fight used some extremely advanced weapons. Iconian weaponry. Makes sense. The Iconians were allies of the Tal Shiar at this time. They were probably fighting at their side. This may be one of the unexpected changes Lincoln warned us about. Iconians arriving here early. That's an unpleasant thought. Let's get cracked. Some kind of constructs. They're using anti-proton weapons. Heralds. Not a good sign. Iconians? Not quite, they were heralds, harbingers of things to come. Heralds are augmented servants of the Iconians. They were used primarily as shock troops. We've encountered them before, but if they're here now, things are worse than expected. Okay. There's a tactical force field blocking our way. That looks like the emitter over there. Should be simple enough to destroy it. In this area. Tip up. It's more shield charge. Are and Harold's fighting Riemann combat squads. Wonderful. So, these Riemanns, they're on our side. Good to know. Let's see how my little shuttle does against them. Speak with you. Timing is fortuitous, my old friend. Mm. My resistance forces are closing in on Hakiv's laboratory, but he has opened an Iconian gate. 
The Iconians have sent their minions to aid Hakiv. But all is not lost. We can still stop them. The lab is not far from here. If we can fight our way past the guards, we can put an end to all this. And Hakiv. You know what is happening here with the Excal Excalbians? No, Iconians. Hakiv has brought them here. They're putting up quite a fight. I'll need all the help I can get to stop him. Will you help us? I see, yes. Let's find a stop Hakiv. Looks like there's another tactical force field blocking the way. This Hakiv really doesn't want to be interrupted, does he? It may not be in an obvious place. Check the nearby buildings and rooftops. Okay, signal the group if you spot the emitter. Hakiv has holed up in the south like the cornered vermin he is. Once we're near his position, I can set up a jamming field to prevent him from beaming out. Then we can bring him to justice at last. Good. Let's you might be able to block transporters, Obasek, but I doubt you can block a functional Iconian gate. As long as that remains open, Hakiv will be able to escape. Deal with the gate first, then you can talk about justice all you want. Great, let's shut that gate down. Down. Let's go get him. Uh oh, there's one left in the corner. Can it be? Some find out. No, it's definitely gone. now to something. Ambush! Look out! Good of you to join us today. 
I've dreamed of ridding the galaxy of your stench for some time. And now, with the Iconians at my side, that dream shall become a reality. This ends now, Hakiv. No amount of Iconian or Tal Shiar scum will stop me. Blood calls for blood. We have bigger problems. The Iconian Gate is still online, remember? Hakiv can bring in Iconian reinforcements as long as it is. Then let's shut it down. Keep Hakiv and his forces busy while we work, or this trial will end real soon. And not in our favor. Alright, here we go then. Good. Respawn. Justice. It'll be murder. You don't have to do this. He must pay for what he's... Ariadne! Alright, what's the call? Help Obasek? I'll catch Hakeem. Obasek's in bad shape. He needs field surgery right now or he's not going to make it. I can't do this alone. I need your help to save him. Hakeem's getting away. If he leaves through a gateway, he could return with enough Iconians to finish us off. Do you want to pursue him? No, we're going to save us. Rest easy, friends. This part of the trial has reached its conclusion. There's a portal nearby. Use it to return to Yarnik. He wishes to review the results of the trial. Let's see what he has to say then. I'm going 
bathroom. Silly boy. Let's go and see what's happening here. At a critical moment, you move to save Opusek's life. Because of this, Akiv escapes and convinces the Iconians to pursue a scorched earth assault on their enemies. Billions more die in the following war as a result. An intriguing choice, to be sure. It's a hard choice, but I stand by my decision. To callously leave an ally to die upon the battlefield is not the mark of a strong soul. Leave none behind. Saving the life of a comrade in the fight against evil was a brave and noble act. One worthy of praise rather than scorn. The trial continues. Proceed through the nearby portal when you are ready to begin the next evaluation. Come this way for your next trial. Here we go again. See you in a bit. Any Damn. idea where we are? I haven't seen anything like this. Crimin vessel. Yes, Temple this tech is very advanced, most likely from the future. Anorex was heavily modified after a scientist named Noy stole it from Kiana Station. Got a bad feeling about this. Let's get ready. Damage control teams. This ship's been in a rough fight. This looks like some kind of command station. Secure the area. We might be able to find useful data here. Enemy command. Shall continue. 
The moment her dream takes hold in our reality, my reality, then the honeymoon, as they say, is over. Mm. Despite her successful recovery of the Tox Utat and the restoration of the Nakul Star, she wants more. She wants revenge. It is tempting to use the Tox Utat on Saul, on Vulcan, on every star in the Alliance. But I have a better use for it at Procyon 5. Nakul Vengeance shall have to wait. I don't know where they're going with this. Builders grow suspicious of my inquiries. I believe they begin to realize what my ultimate goal is. What I shall do once this war is won. Today, at Procyon 5, I will undo what the Alliance has done to them. To me. To my family. I will bring back my wife and child. All of this is for them. And no one will stop me. Interesting. Funny, I've been to Procyon 5. It's unremarkable. In our time, at least. Looks like things change considerably in the next century. Indeed, we're in the middle of the final battle in the Temple War. And on the bridge of the enemy flagship, no less. Judging by the look of things, the battle may not be going well for this temporal liberation front. We should leave. By now, we've been detected by their security systems. And I'd rather not be around when they send combat teams to retake the bridge. Mm, good point. There's a turbo lift down this way. Can I move on? Turbo lift? Ah, there. This door here. Sorry, Brandy. Here we go. Turbo lift. I'm detecting a massive buildup of temporal energy ahead. Uh -oh. Yeah, along with multiple life forms, all armed. Let's go again. Nice try. Glad you were down here.
You haven't seen the last of me! Oh, Rob did all right there. Huh? I see him. No, he's on the upper platform. Now, what are we doing here? No idea. Get through that. Well, must be around there. Waste time as you see fit, Vermin. It will be for naught. Overwatch. Mm. Can I get up that upper platform? How can I do that? Ah, there's a ramp. History shows you have a habit of meddling in the affairs of others. We believe it is time to break you of that habit. Revive him, and we're on our way. Right. Here to parlay, or shall we just start shooting at one another? Interesting thought. Well, it looks a safe environment. Ish. So, the Alliance sends a gang of assassins to stop me once again. Predictable. Before I kill you, understand this. After today, the Alliance ends. Forever. Thus always to tyrants. And their rabbit attack dogs as well. I think 
like you've got the same right you overestimate your chances. I will fight this battle again and again until I stand victorious. I understand the need to bring back the ones we've lost. Living in the past is an exercise in history. I will not be defeated. I control time itself. Enough! I will erase you all! You can't control time! If anything, time controls us. Deep, but wasted on Noi. His grief blinds him to things like logic and truth. Close. I won't let you win! I'm getting there. The core is ready. I end you and take my ship back in time. You cannot stop our plans! Well, let's see how he's doing over here. to do this. How, how can this be? You, you were lost. I'm here now, husband. This war needed to end, Noi. Dominion. Before it consumed us all. Mm, not good. Noi was a danger to all life, even in the Dominion. I could no longer sit back and watch as the Alliance failed to stop them. Time and time again. So, I have done what you could not. Now, we must destroy this vessel, so it can never be used again. Let us end this war, once and for all. Do you think it'll end the conflict? Got a point. Without Noi, without Anorex, the TLF will lack the power and leadership needed to fight the Alliance. The war will end. Well, who knows, maybe there'll be a chance at a lasting peace this time. Stranger things have happened. True. The situation could have been avoided. He was finished. You didn't need to execute him. True. Maybe. Maybe we can still do this the right way. What? This is a time ship. We should be able to generate a localized temporal spike and send ourselves back to a point before this whole situation goes too far. Let's finish this without resulting to cold-blooded murder. Mm.
infantry was what's done about this. Let's destroy the method. Do this. Noi, look out! She's a changeling! Salads are irrational, fearful creatures. You cannot be trusted. Let that thing execute me while wearing the face of my wife. But you didn't. If you were willing to save my life now, perhaps you're willing to work toward making things right for all who have been lost. Yep. Indeed. Very well. It appears the time has come. I speak for my forces, and I... Surrender. The Battle of Procyon V is over, and with it, the Temporal War. I'm trusting you to do the right thing here. Don't make me regret that decision. Okay. I believe that will be enough for this trial, my friends. Yarnik awaits our return. He will, no doubt, have things to discuss after observing your actions here. All right, let's go then. Let's return. ravages three galactic quadrants before it is finally stopped. I believe we did the right thing. To kill a man in cold blood, even an enemy, that comes with a terrible burden to bear for the executioner. Delivering Noi to justice was an admirable decision, one the founder could have easily made herself. Doing so would have saved not only her life, but the lives of many others as well. Yep, you're right there. Your participation in the trial has been informative thus far, but we require more data to make our decision. Another scenario has been prepared. Enter the portal when you are ready to begin. Okie dokie. This way. Into the breach. This place isn't familiar. 
Either of you know where we are? Nope, don't recognize this one yet. I know where we are, I just don't know when. Knowing that's gonna make all the difference here, believe me. Let's take a look at those consoles and see if there's any useful information in them. Very well. This is a recent entry, but the area is deserted. We need to know more. Okay. Science officer's log. Control found us. We fought valiantly, but Discovery wasn't a match for Control's Section 31 ships. What's left of her crashed. Not far from here. Somehow, Saru and Tilly were able to transfer the sphere data to this location. But it's only a matter of time before Control figures that out and comes to collect its prize. Mm, I need to get the sphere data somewhere Control can't find it. To do that, I need the Red Angel. But the thing is, I can't trap the Red Angel without help. So I can only hope that someone from Discovery has survived. And they make it here before Control does. Mm, trust me. If Tilly was here, she'd be a font of optimism. But I know what that atmosphere can do. I don't think anyone else is going to make it. Logic suggests that I take steps to destroy this fear data before it's too late. For now, I'm sticking with optimism. Everything matches up to the point where Discovery crashes. That's where things change, and for the worse. Judging by the lack of survivors present, I think we have to finish what they started. If that's even possible. Let's give it a whirl. Do you have a question? Tell us about Control first. Control is a sophisticated artificial intelligence created by Section 31. It was originally designed as a threat assessment program, but it evolved into something terrible. If it collects the sphere data, Control will pursue a path that ultimately leads to a complete loss of life in the galaxy. We cannot let that happen. The sphere was a life form. It was extremely old and collected a vast amount of invaluable data over the course of its life. It passed that information on to the crew of Discovery before it died. Control did everything it could to acquire the data, particularly the data on artificial intelligence. It wants that data to achieve sentience. If that happens, it's all over. Control will be unstoppable. Let's do it then. Let's see. We were so close to this, to failure. To death. Let's give it a while. See what we gotta do. Okay. Like right, it's a battleground. We need to set up the phase discriminators at that console. We need to prepare the stasis beams at that console.
So far, so good. We need to use that console to prime the EMP next. Prime it? Almost finished. Use that console to align the containment field. Let's see what you've got to see in Burnham. We've set up the trap. Now all it needs is the bait. Me. You'll need to go back to the previous room, close the door, and turn off the vents. Yes. Assuming things go as they did before, the Red Angel will appear in time to save my life. When that happens, activate the trap. Mm -hmm. Done all I can with these ancient phase discriminators. We should have the power we need for this little stunt. But we're only getting one shot, so I'll make it count. No pressure. Come on, we can do it. Ready when you are, Commander. Right. Do it. Initiate sequence on that mark. In five, four, three, two. Wait, abort! Do not engage! Picking up a massive surge of tachyon radiation. She's here! Do it! Do it now! Activate the phase discriminators. Activating EMT. What are you doing? We don't have time for this. Discovery is gone. We have to deal with it ourselves. We have to stop control now, or it all ends. And now we have two burn ups. That's not very interesting. I get the feeling you were expecting someone else in that suit, Commander. Yes. My mother. She designed the suit with my father, and used it to escape a Klingon attack. In doing so, she learned how control ended all life in the future. After that, she used the suit to try and stop that from happening. Clearly, in this reality, that task has fallen to me. How can we help? Transfer the sphere data to my suit so I can take it into the future, where Control can never find it. We need to act fast. Control is on its way here now. This needs to happen before it arrives. Understood.
actually. The sensor log said Discovery went down with all hands. Trouble is pointless. No. Controls using members of Discovery's crew as shock troops. regular weapon. You need to do something unconventional. Try to magnetize the floor. It'll disrupt it. Weaken it and lure it to me. I'll distract it while you give it a magnetic shock. It'll take several shocks to finish it for good. It's weakened. Lead it to the platform. Control's there. loose. We need to weaken it again. Lead it to the platform! It broke free. Everyone weaken it again. Now. This doing fast. Try and it broke free. <sighs> Everyone weaken it again. Now
It's weakened. Lead it to the platform. Broke free. Down. Broke free. <laughs> Everyone weaken it again. Now. It's distracted. Give it another blast. Magnetize the floor again. Good. One more shock should finish it off. is using nanites to take over the future version of me. If that happens, it'll gain access to the sphere data. I can try to inoculate future Burnham with my own nanites. This should prevent Control from accessing the sphere data through her, but it'll alter her biosignature. She won't be compatible with the suit if this works. Hmm. Too risky. The suit could wind up trapped here. Given time, Control could find a way to access the sphere data. We need to think about destroying the data. Purge it from the suit before Control can access it. I could do that, but losing that data? All of that knowledge gone, forever. Consider this. The means of eliminating Control could be held within the sphere data as well. Deleting it could be a fatal mistake. I will lift without the deer. I will do that. I will delete the deer. Get ready. This is gonna sting. A lot. Do it. Oh, That's wait a minute. A little more than a damn sting. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, 
get it right. Resistance is futile. Defense is a good defense. Well, we'll soon find out. She's dead. The sphere data is gone as well. Shock of removing it must have been too much for her. I just watched myself die oops sorry <laughs> unfortunately we have a new problem at the end before it beamed out i think what was left of control merged with some of my nanites yeah mm. and now there's a board control hybrid version of me running loose somewhere whatever the excalbians are doing here needs to stop now need to get through to them but gone too far. Rest easy. The trial of Esau 4 has come to an end. Well, we'll see if it was a trial. My apologies, friends. These events must have taken a heavy toll upon all of you. We should return to speak with Yarnik now. Let us leave this place. Yep, let's get Come out of here. Come along, my friends. It's a big assignment, this one. How quickly you extinguished a wealth of knowledge. And to what end? Your decision to eliminate the data also claimed the life of the Red Angel. Control continues to exist, and the fate you sought to prevent will still come to pass. Yes, it's just a simulation. Preventing control from gaining access to the sphere data was a just and necessary action, despite the cost. While the entity continues to exist, it is vulnerable. Precious time was purchased this day. Time that, God willing, will allow brave souls to find a way to stop control and bring an end to its inhuman march of destruction. I have my concerns regarding this trial. Yarnik isn't a very impartial judge, and he's clearly a prominent figure in Excalbian society. If his opinion of our actions continues downward, the situation could become volatile in a hurry. Still, it could be worse. We still have time to present our case here. Hopefully we will win some Excalbian hearts and minds in the process. Yep. Congratulations. I have been informed Jenny. that Yarnik and the others wish to privately discuss the results of the trial. You are free to return to your vessel, or remain here until the recess reaches its conclusion. Once that happens, you will be summoned to continue the trial. How would you like to proceed? As much as I'd like to see what a ship of this time period is like, I feel like we should stay here. We might have the opportunity to speak with Excalvians other than Yarnik and see what they think of all this. True. I'm not as optimistic as Commander Burnham when it comes to the Excalvians. Returning to the ship has its benefits. I could use a drink. <laughs> Several, actually. I leave the decision to you.
Ah, oh, let's get back. 